సచిన్ టెండూల్కర్ పరిచయం అక్కర్లేని భారత క్రికెట్ దిగ్గజం తన రికార్డులు ఘనతలతో భారత క్రికెట్ను అత్యున్నత శిఖరాలు చేర్చిన ఘనత సచిన్ సొంతం క్రికెట్లో ఎన్నో శిఖరాలు ఎన్నో రికార్డులు అధిరోహించిన సచిన్ ఇప్పుడు రిటైర్మెంట్ తర్వాత ముంబై ఇండియన్స్కు మార్గనిర్దేశకుడిగా తెర వెనుక ఉంటూ ఆ జట్టును ముందుకు నడిపిస్తున్నాడు ముంబై ఇండియన్స్ ఫైనల్కి వచ్చిన నేపథ్యంలో హైదరాబాద్కి వచ్చిన ఆయన ఈనాడుకు ఇస్తున్న ప్రత్యేక ఇంటర్వ్యూ సార్ హౌ ఈజ్ యువర్ పోస్ట్ లైఫ్ రిటైర్మెంట్ లైఫ్ ఇట్స్ బీన్ గుడ్ ఐ కాన్ కంప్లైన్ బికాస్ యూ నో ద ద బెస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఐ వాజ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు మిక్స్ అరౌండ్ విత్ పీపుల్ బికాస్ వీ హ్యాడ్ టు ఫాలో సర్టన్ రూటీన్స్ అండ్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ బట్ నా యూ నా ఇన్ అ పొజిషన్ టు బీ ఏబుల్ టు ర్యాప్ షోల్డర్స్ విత్ దోస్ గైస్ హూ సపోర్టెడ్ మీ ఫర్ సచ్ అ లాంగ్ టైమ్ ఆల్సో బీన్ ఏబుల్ టు ట్రావెల్ అరౌండ్ అదర్వైజ్ నార్మలీ ఇట్స్ ఆల్ ది యాక్టివిటీస్ వుడ్ హ్యాపన్ అరౌండ్ క్రికెట్ now i have that freedom to travel around wherever i want uh, and i've been involved with few initiatives as well uh, also became the ambassador of uh, unicef for uh, hygiene and hand wash uh, to be able to learn more about all those things you know how many lives are lost uh, due to diarrheal diseases you know almost uh, 1 lakh children die every year you know which is which is not a number that one should be proud of you know we should try and bring that number down as low as possible and uh, you know just meeting all these people and understanding more about life it's, it's only given me an opportunity to become a better person you have been a really private person uh, being a long career so what convinced you to open up like you are going to release a movie we yes i i agree that uh, i'm a private person and i continue to be one uh, in this movie when the producer approached me he approached me in 2012 when we started working on this movie from 2000 beginning 13 onwards or so around about that time and uh, i told him that once a sportsman always a sportsman at heart so there shouldn't be any acting involved i said no no there is no acting involved everything is real life you know but uh, he's saying that real life whatever happens on the field all all the numbers are known by people mm-hmm. but through those ups and downs what was going on in your head nobody knows can you speak more about that can you explain to us so what you felt like when you know when the performance was good in sharja and, and what i felt like when the performance was not so good in 2007 world cup so we we've tried to cover all these aspects where you know it's not just about showing good things yeah i mean there were patches there were difficult patches where i had injuries and all those kind of things we've covered in this movie also my mother has spoken about me then uh, my aunt my both my brother's sister uh, anjali has extensively spoken about me and our relationship uh, my relationship with my children there are various aspects uh, with my coach all those things we have tried to cover so it's not you know that people will not get to see uh, other side of me people will know more about me and there are some you know family videos which the whole family felt comfortable sharing with and we felt okay we we could share these videos with all the fans because when people leave the theaters they want to go back with something special something that they have not seen so we want to leave something behind with them you are going to send a message through movie to children or youngsters or some i think a message through movie is you know uh, it's not about leading glamorous life you know to for for any i hate calling profession it should be your passion <laughs> you know for that passion the the journey should begin from your heart and then slowly slowly when you grow up your brain starts figuring out things so in my case cricket started from my heart and then you know i played more and more matches my brain got involved and trying to figure out where can i score runs which bowler when i need to defend and which bowler to attack and when to attack those kind of things but if you use your brain bit too much and start choose your profession it doesn't work 
you have to have passion for that for anything that you want to be in life if you are not passionate then during challenging moments you're going to say okay this is not happening i need to move on to something else mm -hmm. so that would be the message to to all the children that you know don't find shortcuts uh, if you are passionate about something keep working at it you have to you have to dream because dreams do come true and you have to wake up and start chasing your dreams so uh, yesterday you screened the movie to armed forces so what was the situation there emotional feeling or anything the, yes the viewing with uh, the the indian armed forces was, was really special and the day i decided to do this movie i was clear in my mind that the first viewing has to be with the indian armed forces and uh, i told him that you know though i am standing here alone in front of you i am representing billion plus people to come here and say a big big thank you for everything that you do for us coming to indian team what are the chances we are going to in champions trophy for indian well we have a we have a strong squad really strong squad and uh, if you see uh, there there was an injury just now manish pandey but the guy who is replacing him also dinesh karthik is again a super player so you know we are in a position where the bench strength is also really good and uh, that's a that's a good problem to have hmm. you know who to pick and who to leave outside you know it's a challenge no. and that's a good problem to have because you know that means the team is well balanced and a solid team uh, just like any other indian even i am looking forward to this tournament and uh, want to wish them all the very best we all have high expectations and i'm sure uh, the players will go and deliver how did you unwind during the high intensity matches sorry how d how did you unwind during the high intensity match unwinding is is to do with music to watch movies you know in my hotel room constantly there'll be music going on in the background and i felt it would relax me you know and then not every day you are in the same mood sometimes you know you've had a great day and then you are feeling on top of the world everything has gone according to your plan you have different music for that sometimes you know it's been a disappointing day and you have music for that so those kind of things continue to happen before you go out to bat there is a particular particular song that you want to listen to you would listen to that song so that you know you are charged up you go out and you you know attack and the way you have planned to play you do that so there are uh, music and movies uh, is what i would say apart from you any any of your family member acted in that movie sachin no nobody has acted neither have i acted you know we we tried to capture all natural movements and normal uh, actions and uh, there are multiple videos you know if you, if you see the the director and the producer the whole team they had 10000 hours of footage mm -hmm. and from that to you know bring it down to 2 hours and 15 minutes is a huge challenge mm. so to construct that itself you know it did took them long long time to to figure out what to show and what not to show because if you left out something then you always feel that oh this should have been there <laughs> but where to squeeze in is was a challenge and they've done a magnificent job so any uh, plans to give back to the game i have been uh, doing that you know i don't have to have a designated post to give back to the sport uh, i like to spend time i have uh, spent time with uh, women's team i have spent time with junior women's team i have spent time with uh, under 15 under 17 under 21 guys uh, ranji trophy guys and you know whoever i mean it's it's for me i love doing that and uh, it need not be in front of the whole world uh, things can happen behind closed doors and you know whatever i want to tell that player and then from indian team also players sometimes call me and they have discussions so which is that i don't like to disclose all these things because those are confidential things hmm. nearly 40 years you are in the cricket so now you are uh, out of the cricket so how is the life uh, being a citizen of india like common man it's it's busy i mean like i mentioned to you earlier that you know i'm able to travel around spend more time with my family 
when I was playing cricket, uh, sometimes I, I ended up missing my children's birthdays, their annual days and number of functions where, you know, at that age, children do want their parents around. But, uh, you know, because of cricket, I had no choice. Uh, I missed out on number of uh, festivals where, you know, in, during Ganpati, you know, the whole family gets together or during Diwali and all that. But during all those festivals, we would invariably go out and play. Mm. You know, so it was it was holiday for the rest of the guys, but playing day for us. <laughs> and I'm no not complaining at all about it because uh, I enjoyed doing that. I enjoyed playing cricket. It was uh, uh, it's been my passion, and uh, I always wanted to do that. So no complaints. But I'm able to spend you know all those days now, although important days in a year. I can plan and I can be with my family. How do you rate Virat Kohli as a captain and at a batsman? I think uh, you know he's he's done a fabulous job without any doubt, and then the team has shaped up really well under him. And uh, you know he's he's uh, shown tremendous consistency. So all one can hope is he continue to go in this direction and bring laurels to our nation. I think that is that is really important in the, the kind of team that we have now. There are some brighter things to happen. In is there any similarity between you and Virat in the batting? I style? don't like comparing uh, uh, two people because you know, uh, even during my playing days, I was asked number of questions whether this bowler is better or that bowler is better, whatever. You know, by doing this, somewhere you take away something from the other guy. You know, forgetting the the sacrifices, the number of hours, endless number of hours that he's put into getting things uh, the way he wants and after. Now how does one differentiate between somebody who has got 500 wickets and somebody who's got 550 wickets? They both are good and uh, to me, I think every individual should be judged to what he is capable of and what he has delivered rather than all the time comparing. So I don't like comparisons. Is it possible that your regards should break? Is it possible? Well, I mean, those are not my records. Those records belong to India. <laughs> okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.